you're here because you've got to write a literature review for your academic paper. I'm here to provide a step-by-step -step guide, a clear plan, and a handy template to help you get it done. I'm Jack from Proofed. The three steps to writing your literature review are plan the structure, write your literature review, including the introduction, main body, and conclusion, and finally, check your literature review. Step one, plan the structure. There are a number of ways to organize your paper. Let's look at them now. Firstly, themes. If you're going to organize your literature review by themes, you need to create subsections or paragraphs within the body of your literature review, which address the different themes in your field's research. Secondly, chronology. If you decide to organize by a chronology, make sure you evaluate the chronological development of your sources. Don't simply summarize their content. Analyze the evolution of the topic over time. Have the theories or approaches changed? Thirdly, theoretical approaches. If you're going to organize by theoretical approaches, choose a relevant theory and examine your sources in light of that theory. Which sources support this theory and which contradict it? Finally, methodological approaches. If you're going to group the literature according to the methodologies used, one subsection might analyze sources that have used a qualitative approach. Another subsection could analyze papers that have used a quantitative approach. Step two, write your literature review. Like other academic writing, your literature review needs an introduction, a main body, and a conclusion. In the introduction, you should clearly state your research topic and the objectives of your literature review. If your literature review is part of a larger project, such as a dissertation, you should outline your research question and objectives, give an overview of the scientific context, and briefly point out any gaps in the existing literature. If you're writing a standalone paper, you should go into more detail about the objectives of your literature review and the methods used to conduct it. The main body of your literature review should be broken down into subsections or paragraphs, which must be organized according to your chosen structure as outlined in step one. Summarize the main points of each paper and then analyze them. Make sure you interpret the findings of each paper you're presenting in light of your own research. How are they significant to your research project? Finally, your conclusion should summarize the general points from the literature and relate them back to your research question. If you're writing a dissertation or thesis, make sure to highlight how your research will fill gaps in the existing literature. If you're writing a standalone paper, you might want to suggest areas for further research dependent on the current gaps or debates in the existing literature. Step three, check your literature review. Here are some key questions to ask yourself before you submit. Are your citations and references presented correctly according to your university or institution's referencing guide? Does each paragraph contain a coherent argument? Did you use transition words at the start of each paragraph to ensure a logical flow for the reader? I've linked a resource in the description, which is a list of transition words and phrases you can use. Are your paragraphs in proper order? I've linked a resource in the description again for a template that will help you lay out your literature review. Is your writing concise? Do your sentences flow smoothly? Finally, have you had your work proofread by someone who has a great eye for detail and an extensive knowledge of grammar, spelling, and language? Proofreading your work is the best way to ensure that your message is communicated in a clear, concise, and correct manner without the inclusion of distracting errors. Whether you ask a friend, colleague, or professional company, be sure to have your work proofread before you submit it. Before we finish, let's double check that we've covered everything with a quick recap. Have you selected a structure for organizing your literature review? Written an introduction, main body, and conclusion? And finally, checked your literature review, ready to submit. Now you have three clear steps for writing a high-level literature review to strengthen your research. Don't forget, I've put a link in the description to a handy template which you can use when writing your literature review. If there's anything you're still unsure about, 
check each of the links to the resources that I put in the description. As always, ask any questions you have in the comments. We post these videos every week, focusing on different fundamentals of writing, communication, and content creation, helping you to unlock your best work. Your writing proof.